Yo, what up guys? How you doing? My name is Jet. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to edit way faster in Adobe Premiere Pro in 2018. Overall, a very simple method that my homie told me about uh, literally months ago now that I have not been utilizing enough. I went to film a club the other day on the weekend. I did a vlog about it as well called Filming a Big Ass Club with 2,000 People In. Pretty accurate title to be fair. It was, it was a packed, packed club. Peep the vlog, I'll, I'll actually link that in the description if you want to check it out. But overall, I'm dealing with some new footage that I've collected on the weekend, so I thought this would be a perfect time to actually show off this very dope method that, like I said, I don't use even slightly enough, and I've just remembered about today, so I'm gonna be talking about it. Uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, now what you actually wanna do is open up Premiere Pro. Of course, that's pretty standard. And this actual particular method of how to edit faster in Premiere Pro is going to be how to automate the editing um, of your clips and the placement and the overall adjustment of your clips. And the way we're gonna be doing this is by adding markers throughout a song. So for example, I'm gonna import my song right here. And essentially we're gonna go through and add markers um, for all of the different beats. Now, um, this particular thing has some random stuff here where, where I literally just did some completely random uh, markers inside of the clips. Those aren't the ones I'm talking about the markers up here up the top So for example, let me just go ahead and press M. It's gonna throw a marker up there on the top Make sure you're not actually selected on your clip So there's no markers being thrown into your clips and kind of just ignore my random little markers right there I'm not too sure why the fuck that's even popping up, but <laughs> Anyways without further ado, let's get into the video. So simply um, get your track that you actually are gonna want to go ahead and go forward on and go ahead and select where you want to start it so for me I'm gonna start mine there. And once you've actually thrown your clip down there, guys, all you want to do is go ahead and just hit the play button and simply press M to add a marker at every beat that you would uh, actually want the, uh, the, the, the edit to change clips on. Um, and then we're gonna be able to automate to these markers, okay? So um, M for me is my marker button, but if it's not M for you, you can go up to edit, go to keyboard shortcuts, and then just change um, it to M or figure out whatever else it is. But Boom, I'm gonna go ahead and give a play through my track and just go ahead and press M every time I think it's a beat that I'd wanna change on. Boom, so now I've actually gone through to add a few things. I might wanna add one at the beginning. Boom, oh, hold on, let's get that. Boom, boom. And now we actually have a decent selection of, of clips. In fact, I might even go ahead and start on that marker right there. And then, simple as this, this is probably gonna blow your mind. All you have to do is select the clips that you want to automate in. And by the way, I forgot to mention this. Um, go ahead and, and add in and out points to all the clips you want. So this is obviously a clip I want. I've added in and out points. In and out points um, are basically how this actually goes down and how it, uh, Oh, sorry, more indigestion, um, but <laughs> I always get indigestion in these videos, I swear, but basically in and outing the, the video, right, is how you tell the program, this is the section that you want to automate in. And then the process is extremely simple. Just go ahead and select all the clips that you want to automate in. I'm gonna go ahead and unselect those clips right there because those aren't ones that I want in. And simply go up to clip, automate to sequence, and then change this from sequentially, which it will normally be on, to at unnumbered markers, and press OK. Um, and my bad, you might wanna bring that track down to the second audio level if, um, audio layer, if your clips have audio. Let's just go ahead and redo that again. Hold on, boom, unselect those, go up the clip, automate the sequence, at unnumbered markers, and go ahead and mute that layer. And now if we give this a play, Woo, hold on, let me just go ahead and render that in and out. And now if we just render this in and out, we will um, actually see a nice automated sequence where we didn't have to adjust any of this stuff, apart from I think there's one right here which doesn't make it all the way, so we have to adjust that a little bit. Um, but overall, this is how you speed up the process so, so much by, you know, you could save yourself hours of time tweaking everything. Let me just go ahead and pop that there. Boom, now if we get this to play. Boom, just like that we have automated the sequence and saved ourselves a shitload of time in the process. 
Now for me, I'm shooting on S-Log if you're wondering why these particular clips are kind of a little bit gray. Um, and basically I would just go through now, color correct, and um, obviously automate the rest of the points all throughout the edit. But that is the very basic, simple strategy on how you can edit much faster in Adobe Premiere Pro 2018. If you enjoyed, guys, like, comment, subscribe, show me some support down below in the likes and the comments. Have a nice day and goodbye.